Hi, welcome back to The Daily Diaries, or welcome anew if it's your first time. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Crystal, and today I'm just going to be putting together a nice, lightweight, fresh, peachy, I guess spring-inspired uh, makeup, and I'm going to be using a new product to my collection. It's not a new formula because I do have this in another shade and I've been using it for years, but this is one of the nude sticks uh, all over dewy face color items. <laughs> and I actually love these. So we'll be putting this on the cheeks. I've also got a new Kosas bronzer to try out and we will be, <clears throat> excuse moi, there seems to be a frog in my throat. I really need to eliminate them from my diet. Uh, also, we're going to be using the Violette FRU paint, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. So a whole bunch of new bits and pieces to try out. If that sounds good to you, stay right there. And I'll scooch in and we can get started. Oh, before we do, how cool is this jumper? I actually picked this up. It's so cute. From an RSPCA thrift shop. So it's a secondhand one, but it's by Sass and Vibe, which is an Australian designer brand that I can never normally afford and don't even look at because I can't afford it. <laughs> so that was such a score. It was like 14 bucks. Okay, enough bragging. Also, I love that the money goes towards animals that need homes and shelter. So let's get started. I've got some concealer on. I've got sunscreen primer. And now I'm going to use, because I want a nice, like, lightweight, fresh-faced sort of vibe today. I'm going to be using a product that I'm absolutely loving and used the whole time I was camping. This is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk and I use the shade Light Medium. It's a very lightweight skin tint, really. Sorry, my natural hair is very unruly today. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just use a Timu brush to spread this out. Timu's so hit and miss. Like, I wouldn't say I shop on it very often, but this was one of the few things I bought that I actually love and use heaps. <laughs> this double-ended brush. So yeah, I've been camping, which was wonderful. It was just what I needed to just have some R&R &R time. It's been a long time since I've had time to do that and things were just getting a bit crazy, a bit hectic. My migraines were awful and I just needed a break. <laughs> so that was really, really lovely. I might chuck up a couple of photos for you as well. It's a beautiful place where I go on the Fluria Peninsula in South Australia. It's so lovely. Just a cute little town. Lovely caravan park. Took a friend of mine and uh, joined my family and it was just a lot of fun. Okay, so you can see that's a really nice, radiant, lightweight finish. You're not going to get a lot of coverage out of this at all. So if you're looking for coverage, this isn't the one. But I find that if I just add it to my concealer, it generally does the job. My skin's a little out of control at the moment because I've been having endo flare. So hopefully it'll calm down soon. Well, my skin and the flare. <laughs> we had glorious weather too. We were having like... 29 degree days and we're in autumn now so that was just <laughs> divine i love the heat i love the sun so we were really blessed like that and only on the last day it was like cold it just suddenly switched and it was kind of cold and rainy but that's fine because it's still fun camping's fun no matter what and i'm just going to take a sponge and just smooth that out a little bit also please ignore my nails today because i'm getting them done monday I'm a chronic nail picker. I just can't, I just can't not have nails on because I just destroy myself. <laughs> Does anyone else have any habits like that that they've had since they were a kid and they just can't kick? <laughs> now I'm just going to powder down the T-zone. This powder does have some coverage as well, which I like to use in combo with the skin tint. So, because the only place I really need coverage is through my nose and chin. So rather than putting a heavy coverage all over my face, I just like to put it where it's required. This is the Kiko Milano SPF powder. It's on my list of things to buy when I go back to Europe <laughs> in August because I really like it. Jeez, my eyebrows are so out of control right now. There's just like this one here that just wants to point straight down all the time, no matter what I do. <laughs> 
think that will be fine. I feel like you could be a little closer again. Let me zoom you in. So last time I did a video, I was about to go and do a speech at a business for end of awareness month and I was terrified. I have major anxiety about speaking in public. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, I'm just using the tiny, tiny hourglass powder in ambient dim light to set around my eyes. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so, but actually it went so well and this business was so lovely. Shout out to JLL because they seem to have an amazing team there and they were like, they were just such a receptive crowd and a lot of them were men as well. So, you know, you don't always expect to be comfortable speaking to men necessarily if they're all kind of, you know, not interested and yeah, but they were very engaged. So it was just a really good experience and I'm, I'm really grateful that they had myself and Tash, who is another Endo ambassador. And it was just, yeah, it was a great experience. So I'm really glad I was able to do it. That being said, I'm in no rush to take on a full-time public speaking career. <laughs> Alrighty, going in now with my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Powder in 4.5 and just a little angled brush. So what else has been happening? So I will say that my, oh, don't know what that is. My naturopathic diet kind of went up. Well, it's not, it sounds like it's a, it's a diet, but it's like, it's actually called a metabolic reset program and it's supposed to eliminate inflammation from the body. And uh, I gotta say, I think I added about 35 kilos of inflammation over Easter. <laughs> um, yeah, I ate all of the things. But I'm back on track now. That'll do, because I'm just kind of, I'm not looking for perfection today. I'm just looking for nice, light and fresh. <laughs> to be honest, I'm basically never looking for perfection because it doesn't really exist. All right, using my Mecca, which one is this? Brow Guru Power Brow Stronghold Gel to set my brows. I did get, as part of the loyalty program with Mecca, one of their other brow gels and it's bloody useless it does absolutely nothing but this one I like look at this hair what is happening here ah oh, yes got it <laughs> it just wants to point straight down I've got eyelashes here that want to point straight down too oh look it's back all right I'm gonna have to go with the big guns go in with the other end so it's got like a spongy tip on one side and then a like a brush on the other oh my god <laughs> okay so I really want to try the new LYS blush sticks and I'm curious to try the new Red Beauty, like the new blush formula, the more radiant one. If anyone's tried it, let me know your thoughts. I'm curious to know what you think about it because it looks really like shimmery in the swatches on the Sephora website, but I'm hoping it's just more radiant. <laughs> okay, so brows are against their will set into place, which is why I like this <laughs> one better than the other one that Mecca have. And now let's go in with the new bronzing powder I've picked up. I think this shade Escape is maybe a little bit, well, no, okay. I was gonna say a little bit dark, but it actually looks really nice. It just takes a lot of work to blend in, but I think I was a bit more tan when I bought it because obviously we were in the peak of summer and now we're not. <laughs> so yeah. This is the Sun Show Bronzer from Casas, and I'm just using a Bobbi Brown bronzing brush to pop that on because I'm not, I'm not trying to contour. I just want a nice warmth to the skin. Oh man, I've had this brush for going on, I don't know, like 10 years. No, more than that probably. And so it's, a, it's mulching a little. <laughs> I probably should have replaced it at some point, but it's still good. It's just, it just leaves a few brush hairs here and there. I do want to try one of the BK Beauty brushes. I haven't used the, their brushes before and I'm, I'm really keen to try. I wouldn't mind trying one of their bronzer, bronzer brushes. So this is a radiant bronzer. And I, I was worried 
when I first picked it up, I didn't think I would like it because it looked like, like I could see little tiny mica, like glitter flicks in it. It obviously doesn't have glitter in it, but um, yeah, it just looked kind of glittery when I swatched it on my hand. But on my face, it doesn't look like that. It looks really nice. I actually really like this color now that I used my tanning spray on my face last night. I've talked about that in one of my videos <laughs> at some point. <laughs> so easy, literally just like ch -ch 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 -ch, done, just spray it on. Okay. Lovely. Let's get the neck involved. <laughs> Got a beard hair. <laughs> From the brush, I promise. Okay, <laughs> so that is how the bronzer looks. It's very radiant and very nice. I like it. Just popping my moles back. I can see me using this system a lot when I go away in a couple of months, but having said that, I'll probably have found something else I'm into by then. <laughs> but I do think this is a really nice, like, holiday kind of situation. All right, so for eyes today, I'm going to take the Violet FRU paint in. I will, um, of course, put it in the description box. I think it's Quiver de Libre or something along those lines. It's French. I'm Australian. <laughs> Not a lot of French speaking going on out here. So it's a really pretty coppery shade. Please ignore the writing on my hand. I have to do an invoice for a voiceover commercial I did. And that's a reminder. Who needs paper when you have a hand? So I'm just applying this directly from the doe foot. You can use this as an eyeliner or obviously the way I am as an eyeshadow. And you can even use it in your waterline. I don't because I'm very sensitive and I would very likely be allergic. <laughs> And cry all day. Just taking a refer. What is this? 14. And just blending out the top. I do have this in a beautiful green gold shade as well, which I've done a video with. It's a very beautiful colour, very unique colour. As soon as I get to London, I'm definitely picking up some Lisa Eldridge. <laughs> eyeshadows. I keep thinking about ordering them now, but I'm like, oh, you're going to London. Just, just wait. <laughs> Be patient. <laughs> I'm considering picking up the Luna Beauty Moon Shroom palette. I've never used anything from Luna Beauty before, so I'd love to know if you have used it, what you think of the formula and if it's worth it, because it's quite pricey in Australia. I think it's like $79, which is a lot of money. So it's easy as just applying and then softening it out. If you have the matte version of the Violet FR, they are very, very intensely pigmented, like to the same level, I would say, as the Danessa Myricks. Oh gosh, what are they called? You know, the ones that come in the little tubes. Those are incredibly pigmented. And so are the matte versions of these. So you've got a little bit more leeway with the metallics, but I like to go in kind of bit soft to start with just to save any drama but that's such a pretty color I'm just layering layering it up a bit more now so I just want to blend out the top I want to keep it intense near the lash line if I can so pretty do I want to take it under as well I don't want to keep it just on top I'm going to keep it just on top and actually for underneath, I'm going to use my Color Excess pencil from MAC in Tat Last, which is a really pretty corally shade. I'm just going to use that under the eye. Most days when I was away, I was actually using the Bodyography Crystal Glide cream eyeshadow because it's a very like light champagne color but I wanted to try this violet one out today okay cool we're done with that I'm just gonna quickly pop some eyeliner I'm gonna tight line 
the lash line. This is another MAC tap line. Uh, MAC Color Excess Pencil in Nudge Nudge Ink Ink. And I'm just going to take that in there. It's just a little bit of definition. I don't actually want to necessarily have it be visible. I just want it to define my eye. I seem to have had an influx of new mascaras lately. I recently picked up the Tartler XL Tubing Mascara and I'm going to do, this will be in a speed review video coming up, but just a little a little quick peek, sneak peek for you. I really like this mascara. <laughs> so I'm just quickly gonna pop on my lashes. I'm gonna pop some Tarte Opening Act Lash Primer underneath and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have my mascara on. Oh, what? There's something on my face. <laughs> Look, I'm a qualified makeup artist and this just happens. So if you are like putting makeup on and you think you're not very good at it, I'm like, dude, don't worry about it. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> I'm just going to take a filthy cotton tip and erase that from my, <laughs> from my nose as best I can. And we can move on with our lives. <laughs> Generally, if you are using a normal mascara, so not a waterproof mascara. The best thing to do is just to wait for it to dry if you get it somewhere you don't want it. And then you can chip it off with a cotton tip. If it is a waterproof mascara, then you're gonna have to use a little bit of product on the cotton tip to remove it. But there we go, that'll do, never happened. <laughs> There's something really weird going on with my camera and my lighting at the moment. I don't know what is happening. I think I might be up for a new camera soon, which is scary because I really can't afford it, but um, we shall see. All right, so that is the Tartlet XL Tubing Mascara. And I gotta say, it is very impressive. It makes my lashes look like they're fake. It looks like I've got extensions or something and I do not. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really, really impressed with that mascara. I will say that comparing it to my longtime favorite mascara, which is the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara, which is another tubing mascara. This one is much more oomphy. It makes my lashes look like amped, like properly amped. But every now and then I might get a tiny little flake, a tiny little flake. But for me, it's kind of worth the payoff because it's not, it's like tiny and the look that I get with this mascara is insane. But I think I'm going to have to think about it because when I go overseas, it's going to be summer. So I might take my hourglass unlocked with me just because I trust it through thick and thin. It doesn't give me as impressive lashes, but it still gives me good lashes. So we'll just have to see. But yeah, I'm blown away by this particular mascara formula. I really like it. Cool. Let's get into the nude sticks portion. So this is the shade Poppy Girl and it's the all over dewy face color. It has a little brush on one end and the color at the other end. Now, because I'm fair and this is quite punchy, I'm actually going to apply it with a brush. This is the e.l.f. Blush brush, the putty blush brush. <laughs> Such a tongue twister. All right, so I'm just going to take a little bit here. I'm then going to buff it out a tiny bit on my hand and apply it. Sometimes when I'm lazy, I just go straight in with it and then have to do, do the work to blend it out afterwards, which is definitely doable. <laughs> Oh, it's such a stunning color. And it looks so beautiful with the bronzer. They just, they're a treat together. Isn't that so beautiful? And as always, it looks much more intense off cam than it does on. But yeah, such a beautiful finish. It, the way that it just sits on the skin is so lovely. It looks so natural because it's got this beautiful dewiness, almost a sheerness to it, and yet it's still really pigmented. So it's kind of a miracle. All right, and we're gonna use that on my lips as well because I love wearing these on my lips. I have the other shade that I could not live without is Bohemian Rose in the all over dewy color. And I love how these look on the lips as well as the cheeks. You can use them on your eyes as well. But I don't because I have oily eyelids, so I don't really like anything kind of too jelly or 
dewy or creamy on my eyelids. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. And that's it. Oh, I suppose we can stick some highlighter on. We don't even need it because I've got a radiant bronzer and a radiant blush. But let's tap a little of the... We'll go with the Vive Skin Dew. This is really nice highlighter. I really like this. Just a teeny little tube, but it lasts for 100,000 years. So I just tap some of that in here. Really don't need much. And kind of like to go over the highlight with the blush just so everything sort of melds together and doesn't look like I've got a streak of highlighter sitting on top. All right, that's it guys. Let's zoom you on out. That is the complete face of this springy, peachy, fresh faced look and I really like it. I think it's beautiful and I love the products that I've used today. I think the bronzer looks so nice. This Kosas bronzer actually looks really nice. I might, I might get it in the shade down as well for winter. And this is my second Viola FR shade. I like this one because it really makes the green in my eyes pop. And I honestly, like, I can't recommend these more highly. These are such a beautiful product from Nude Sticks. They've been around for a long time and they are just delightful. Bohemian Rose and Poppy Girl are my two favorites. Bohemian Rose is more of a pinky, well, it's definitely a pinky shade. <laughs> and this is obviously more of a peach, but they just look beautiful on the cheeks and on the lips. They're such a good multitasker and they feel really nice on the lips too. So that is a bonus. <laughs> so that is uh, everything that I wanted to go through with you today. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope you will think about clicking the subscribe button before you go. I always appreciate a thumbs up. A like means a lot. And your comments, I love them. I love getting your comments. It literally brightens my day. So thank you for being here. I hope to see you again very soon back here at the Daily Diaries. Have a fabulous day or night. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the Daily Diaries or welcome anew if it's your first time. I'm so great. What, 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 what? <laughs> oh my god.